Welcome to a new episode dedicated to dual band RTK receivers. Our main focus today is going to be a technical comparison between L1L2 and L1L5 receivers. Let's uncover which receiver is truly better to choose nowadays. In our previous video titled Dual Band vs Triple Band, we've already explained the L1, L2, and L5 bands. Considering only dual band receivers, there are two options available on the market, L1L2, which has historically been available for a longer time, and L1L5, which is newer and has created a buzz among GPS enthusiasts. Once the L1L5 RTK receivers became available to the consumer market, various headlines emerged, L1L5 is cheaper than L1L2. L1L5 performs better than L1L2. It is time to switch to L1L5 since it is newer technology. Let's explore whether these are truths or myths. Is it really cheaper? The production of L1L5 receivers took off around 2017, mainly in China, while L1L2 receivers had been on the global market for several decades. If we look at online prices and quotations from vendors, L1L5 seems more affordable. However, a closer inspection reveals that this is an artificial price driven by newer and lower cost Asian manufacturers. In fact, manufacturing cost is actually the same. And in particular, as of today, L1L5 has lower economy of scale, which actually, for the same manufacturer, makes it more expensive to produce. So is it cheaper? It's a myth. The cost is the same. Does L1L5 perform better than L1L2? L1L5 frequencies are spread wider, suggesting better performance compared to the narrower L1L2. Also, there is a lot of noise around how great is L5 frequency against multipath. However, many satellites supporting the L5 frequency have encountered technical challenges, remaining inactive or unhealthy for years after launch. As a result, fewer L5 satellites are currently fully operational compared to L2. Additionally, L1-L2 receivers can partially tap into L5 band. Whereas L1-L5 remains confined to its specified range. We could say that while L1-L5 receiver is a purely dual band receiver, an L1-L2 receiver is a two and a half band receiver. Because of this it is another myth. L1-L2 still performs better, even in tough environments like urban areas. Is it time to switch to L1-L5 since it is a newer technology? Let's consider infrastructure. Most of the world's functioning base stations are currently L1-L2. There aren't as many L5 compatible base stations because the technology is relatively new. Here's the crucial point. L1-L5 rover doesn't perform well with L1-L2 base station. If you're considering using NTRIP services, this compatibility issue with L1-L5 is vital, as it will perform very poorly in dynamic conditions. That is why it is a myth. L1-L5 rovers don't work well with the majority of existing base stations, while L1-L2 rovers do. In conclusion, at the moment of recording this video if you want to be ready for the future and experiment with the potential future benefits of L5, choose a triple band L1 L2 L5 receiver for both rover and base. However, keep in mind it will come at a cost. In the coming years, as more L5 satellites become operational and their technical issues are resolved and more L5 compatible base stations are deployed, L1 L5 dual band receivers may become more attractive. Until then, select a L1-L2 dual band receiver based on the current landscape for better performance. As you have seen, choosing RTK receiver can be overwhelming. And removing this headache is our daily job at Ardu Simple. We are constantly testing all possible RTK suppliers to only select the champions for you. By selecting our do simple and thanks to our form factor concept, as the technology evolves, you will not need to modify your design. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just contact us, we always reply within 24 hours. Subscribe to the Ardu Simple YouTube channel for more exciting content.